So anyway, first trying their famous char siu. Okay, so this char siu is very different from the usual kind of char siu that you get at most roast meat stalls in Singapore. You see, char siu is typically made from the pig shoulder. And sometimes you use the ribs, pork ribs, sometimes you use meat near the armpit and so on and so forth. But they never ever use a pork belly. That is normally reserved for roast pork, su yo. So what Martin does here is to use the pork belly for his char siu. And that results in a char siu that is incredibly fat rich. The seasoning is a nice balance of a medium sweetness and savouriness. Apparently it's a mix of Hong Kong and Malaysian styles of char siu. Hong Kong uses fermented bean curd and hoisin sauce, while the Malaysian style focuses more on the honey and the maltose. And even though it has a very shiny glaze on the meat, the taste is actually not as sweet as you would expect. The meat texture is pretty tender and soft, sometimes to the point of falling apart, and sometimes you taste the meat juices, but very often you don't. Instead, what you get is a lot of pork fat richness. Lah. Part of the reason why the texture is so supremely soft is because he braises the pork belly with a sweet malt sugar marinade, kind of like sous vide style. Lah. You know, then he slow roasts the meat for about two hours. And it's very well roasted with a nice charring, and that gives the taste a lot of smokiness. Finally, he pours on some of the thick char siu marinade on top for a little more flavour and juiciness. But if you would like a little bit more of the pork flavour, right, ask for it to be put on the side, like how I have done so right here. Lah. At the side. Martin claims that he is the first one to come up with pork belly char siu in Singapore. And indeed, his char siu is very innovative and unique. Lah. And his stall is incredibly popular as a result, with queues no matter whether it is a weekend or a weekday. Because of its success over the years, more and more Chinese roast meat hawkers have started to use pork belly for their char siu instead of the more traditional shoulder meat. So, the overall taste is this incredibly well balanced, sweet, savory taste that isn't too in your face and isn't too sweet or isn't too savory, but it's very, very fat rich and the meat texture is very soft. So, I'm guessing that. This stall is aiming for that ultimate single bite of char siu where you eat one bite and you remember it for the rest of your life. But, and this is where people tend to forget, is that in life, things or situations rarely get better or is the best. And in reality, it's usually a case of trade-offs. And that applies to this char siu as well. Because this char siu is the best ultimate single bite of char siu, what happens is that you get satiated very, very fast. I know quite a few people who can't eat more than a few pieces of this char siu without getting very gelat of the taste, get sick and tired of the taste. And in a sense, this is good because you don't eat too much, so you won't get fat. But it's also bad because you can't eat as much as you would like. So it depends on how you look at it. Lah. It's not good or bad. As I said, it's just a matter of trade-offs.